presentation is to give an overview of the new facilities available in Lucis version 18. As always, there are a number of improvements, but in particular three new application areas. Reinforced concrete beam and column design to the Eurocode, a rail traffic load optimizer, and non-linear concrete modeling facilities, including early age behavior or hygrothermal analysis. First off then, we're really excited to be launching our reinforced concrete frame design software option, offering design code checks for reinforced concrete beams or columns or indeed piles, any shape of cross section and any reinforcement arrangement. For this release, it's a Eurocode facility, including many national annexes, both for buildings as well as for bridges. Add reinforcement using the familiar geometric attribute dialog. And this will allow you to vary the reinforcement along the length of the member, specifying cover and layers of bar for each face, for even the most challenging section shapes. Voided sections and even tapering sections can be handled. With materials and code choices in place, Lucis can carry out ULS and SLS checks, including crack widths, for biaxial bending together with overall tension or compression. And at the end of the day, reports like this describe the calculations in full. Well, during the design process, we might want those calculations carried out at every location in the structure for envelope load cases and smart combinations, examining contours or a neat color-coded summary table. You can examine the detailed design calcs for any location for all the available checks, and even view moment and axial force interaction plots. And we believe that that ability to handle the interaction with both standard and arbitrary cross-sections right across a structure and obtain such comprehensive output is second to none, and we hope you'll find it productive in your projects. So, along with this new RC frame design option, don't forget our Eurocode steel and composite deck designer option. The RC slab and wall designer, and of course our steel frame design option, both of which work to a wide range of international codes. Speaking of the steel frame design option, we've continued to add to that with Ashdo being updated to the eighth edition and with a few improvements added in, including shear checks for members with transversely stiffened webs and an option allowing user-defined buckling lengths. Axial load checks are now included for many angle sections in the Ashdo, Australian and Eurocode calculations, both the buildings and the bridges parts. The Canadian code CSA S614 is in place, no change there, and the national analysis for Italy and Spain have been added, again both the buildings and bridges parts. The design combinations facility introduced in version 16 has been updated to include Ashto 8 and national annexes for Finland, Italy, Norway and Sweden. And if you ever get a bit lost in all the low cases, envelopes and maybe smart combinations that you're creating, there are some great new tools to help you drill down into the results and understand how the final factored load effect has been built up. In the print results wizard, right click and choose examine calculations which gives all the details of the load cases and factors included or not included. Or you can choose total combinations and see a simplified list of the load cases and factors. You can also click create a load case which includes all the load assignments and factors associated with that selected result or even examine the logic with a right click from the tree view. But back to the headlines. We are pleased to bring you our new Railway Traffic Load Optimizer. Most bridge engineers will be familiar with our Vehicle Load Optimizer, which finds the most onerous traffic load arrangement to a range of international codes for highway bridge design and assessment or rating, and which, incidentally, we continue to work on and hope you'll find the process much quicker when you use the latest version. But something it has never covered is railway traffic, uh, until now. It works from influence analyses and track definitions and is able to easily handle several potential track layouts. And it works to the UIC leaflet 776-1 and the Eurocode with a range of national annexes. For the UK, it also includes the Network Rail Assessment Code 
NRGN Civ 025. This traffic load optimizer is for linear static analyses. But don't forget that Lucis also offers dynamic and rail track interaction tools if you need them. Now, projects demand that civil engineers make better assessments of existing concrete structures and better predictions for concrete placed quickly or adjacent to existing material. And Lucis has long been known for its advanced analysis capabilities with a concrete cracking and crushing material developed over many years in collaboration with top researchers in the field. Version 18 brings that technology together with the time-dependent creep and shrinkage concrete material model in a single, flexible, non-linear concrete material. Here you can choose to include or exclude cracking and crushing and choose creep and shrinkage to a, a range of codes of practice. Incidentally, the Indian IRC112 code has been included here since version 17, but version 18 adds time-dependent pre-stress loss calculations alongside that code. Other codes, including Ashto and Eurocode, were of course already covered. If you're a user of these nonlinear facilities, you'll also be interested to learn that you can now use multiple analyses, which appear in the analysis tree here, to have a new analysis picking up where another analysis left off. So, normally an analysis starts with the undeformed mesh, the shape which you drew. And for some time it's been possible to start with a deformed shape, but no stress. Useful for things like a buckling analysis in which an initial out of straightness would be important. But now there is this ability to restart from a failed analysis or from some specified load case or step from a prior nonlinear or transient analysis. So essentially you can start the new analysis inheriting both the deformations and the stress state from a preceding analysis. That's the same situation as when you move from stage to stage within a nonlinear analysis, but of course this restart approach allows you to continue a nonlinear analysis without waiting for the solution of the part you've already solved successfully. And it even allows you to explore different directions in which the analysis could go from your part way through starting point. But beyond all that, for early age behavior of concrete, version 18 brings you a whole new analysis approach. A high growth thermal analysis can now be used, added to our existing thermal and mechanical or stress analysis facilities. High growth thermal refers to the distribution of heat and moisture. So when concrete is poured, there is an exothermic reaction. It cures. But it's the availability of free water that controls the rate of reaction, the heat of hydration, the material properties and shrinkage. But the availability of the water depends itself on the rate of reaction and heat and evaporation. So it's a kind of circular problem, which a hygrothermal analysis can solve with information about the concrete, such as the cement type. The existing facilities in Lucis included typical heat generation curves, and those can still be drawn upon. What's of interest to most engineers, of course, is that cracking due to differential temperatures, autogenous shrinkage, drying shrinkage, and so on. That's why hygrothermal must be added to the structural or mechanical analysis so we can get the whole picture. And that uses the advanced nonlinear concrete material once again. So what can we obtain? Well, temperatures and stresses for each time step and for each construction stage, like this slice section through the centre of our solid half model of a dam. Or we might generate graphs at particular locations where we can see, for example, the change in temperature over time, the relative humidity is an indicator of free water distribution, or indeed any results which may be of interest. And crack widths can be assessed, with these on the outer face being found to be beyond the acceptable limits. So we could change the casting conditions, for example, pre-cooling the concrete before placement, leading to more acceptable results. So we hope you'll enjoy using Lucis version 18 and we'll make use of the new RC frame design, the rail traffic load optimization and the advanced concrete modeling with the hygrothermal analysis. And it's really a continuation of our mission to make Lucis more powerful and more productive 
in particular bringing more and more code of practice based facilities into the Lucis workflow from steel design in version 16 to post tensioning in version 17 and now RC frame design and rail load optimization in version 18 and version 19 will include steel and concrete composite deck design to the American Ashto code along with a parametric bridge modeling facility to make constructing those bridge deck models much easier. More design, more applications, more productivity. Lucis version 18.